اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ای ویلکم یو آل ان اور ٹوڈیز آن لائن سیشن ریگارڈنگ انسٹرومنٹیشن اینڈ میجرمنٹ کورس ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ ہیونگ گڈ ہیلتھ وی اسٹارٹ ٹوڈے سیشن ود دی ورڈس آف ہولی قرآن so we continue the session uh, from lecture number 4 already discuss some of the slides of lecture number 4 in our previous session uh, regarding the instrumentation calibration calibration is a more important aspect to regulate and to set the instrument as per the user need as per the user requirement so as a setting point as user defined value should be get by the calibration so without calibration we cannot get the exact accurate value which is more important for measuring instrument so uh, in last also we discussed the dynamic characteristics of the instrument and afterwards the output response which depends on the type of input type of transducer initial condition system characteristics also discuss in our previous session and afterwards there are three types or category of system which is zero order system first order system and second order system and uh, for the detail and description of these system i need to follow this kind of link which i already share with you guys so we will be moving further towards this link and find out uh what's uh, the important aspect in this uh or the introduction detail about the zero first and second order system so i'm sharing further my screen with you guys regarding the uh link of this uh zero first and second order system so the most important thing we need to discuss in this uh link so i'm sharing my screen again so uh, after clicking this video after click click by this link you can get this detail first order system versus second order system and difference between first order second order system order of system and also discuss the concept of uh, or as well in zero order system so this page comprises a star system versus second order system and mentions difference between first order system and second order system it mentions what is zero order system with example so before the disc discussion about the first order and second order we need to verify rectify the concept of zero order system which is in the system in which input changes output also changes so zero order system is an important aspect which you can see so in zero order system uh, which is the input changes and also output changes immediately is called zero order system so it's an example to understand the concept of zero order system with the the concept of resistor so resistor is a type of component a device which you provide the input and it change the output as respective by providing the input so it is uh, the not restoring any kind of energy like capacitor or inductor so it works uh, when we apply the input and it provide the output so this is the example of zero order system 
so there is nothing can store restore kind of energy in the component so the action and all the kind of things can be changes are with the respective of input resulting on the form of output so there is no kind of memory element there is no kind of storing restoring of energy so the common and the basic concept of the system which is zero order coming towards the first order system which you can see this one is the concept in which the resistor and capacitor are connect to each other and providing the input by input voltages and output can also be performed in the form of output voltage v0 which is equal to the vi multiply by 1 minus exponential to the power minus t upon rc rc is also known as the uh, time constant which is represented by another another term called tau and the characteristic curve between output voltage versus time can be formed linear way in this moving of graph by the instant changing of time the voltages can be increases instantly continuously and voltage would be stored in the form of charge in capacitor as well so a passive active component and passive component are connected in in each of one then the first order system can be stored so if we have a charging kind of or storing energy component one in in quantity in the particular circuit we can say it's a first order system and the variable in in uh, the one variable of quantity which change its value so that's the reason it is called first order system so coming towards its definition in the system in which as input changes output also changes but not immediately is called first order system so uh, how does it happen it is not perform or provide its output in exact linear way because when we provide input to the capacitor uh, with the connection of resistor then at the in starting of time capacitor store energy instantly continuously slow of rate and after some time and capacitor can full charge then after cutting off the supplied voltage which is the input voltage the output can sustain its energy due to the charging of capacitor value so this that's the reason it is the definition why it said that in a system in which as input changes output also changes but not immediately foran ye action fulfill nahi ho pata kyunki capacitor us starting instant mein apne andar energy ko aahista ista store kar raha hota hai to output as compared to input change nahi ho raha hota so is phenomena ko that we called the first order system the system takes some delay but without oscillation so isme delay zarur aata hai और ऑस्कलेशन प्रोड्यूस नहीं होता ऑस्कलेशन वाला पार्ट जो है वो हमारा फुलफिल हो रहा होता है सेकेंड और सिस्टम द फिगर यू कैन सी वन डिपेक्ट सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ वन सच ऑर्डर सिस्टम so is an example of heater heater how close to first order system is that when we when input is providing to the heating element of the heater then it is not instantly red hot at that starting time it take it takes time by getting the input and after some of minutes the heating rod or the element would be heat so that instant of delay can be count in this way linearly increasing and after some time it can be achieve its output so this instant of changing with delay is called the first order system now we further uh, moving towards after the example and detail of first order system we coming towards the second order system the basic concept 
So after providing the input voltages from R, L, and C, by the input voltages, the output voltage across the capacitor would be produced. So there are two types of energy components, which are the L and C are connected out there. And the oscillatory impact of oscillation can be produced in this way. So this oscillation can show that the second order system, which shows the instantly continuously changing the value. So coming towards the definition in the system in which as input changes, output also changes, but with some delay and oscillation, which is called the second order system. And in second order system, there are two kind of variables, which are R, R and C are the storage component of energy, which can also be said by this term, a second order system. The figure two depicts input diagram of one such input second order system. Analog instruments are second order instrument, which has damping factor, which is the called zeta between 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. This is the variation which can be taken by this infinite value of uh, interval uh, because how inter infinite, because it, it will be 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.65, 0 0.666, 0 0.6617. So there are a number of intervals in between 0 0.6. 610 to 0.69. So within the interval, it can be infinite. So coming towards 0 0.6 to 0 0.8, these are also having the infinite intervals, which can be tune or tunable parameter, which can be get the output as per the user need. So it's also a tune circuit. It is an uh, uh, due to this variation, it is called the underdam system. So underdam system, which is the which, which under controlling, under controllable phenomena. So this concept can be count in this way. So uh, this one, this variation, this concept uh, within the do of uh, a component, which are the LNC are called the second order system. So this is a whole concept about the damping and second order system further. In detail, we discuss this concept with zero order instrument. So circuit we already discussed and now coming towards the detailed phenomena of zero order system, any instrument that behaves according to the equation is said follows to be of zero order type. As we provide the input, then output can be formed. If we cut off the input, then output can instantly without any delay can be cut off. So this is basic example of zero or system or instrument following a setup uh, following a step change in the measuring quantity at time t the instrument output moves immediately to a new value at the same time instant t so uh, you can see that the Measured variable, the quantity which is being measured from the instrument and the instrument output can be performed by this graph. So they are identically same. If the input is changed its its nature, then output of measuring variable can be changed. If the measuring variable can be changed instead one of a step another, then the output instrument can also be changed steps step identically that is followed by the same as resemblance. The instrument output moves immediately to a new value at the same time of instant t that we already discussed in these type of two graphs. A potentiometer with measured motion is a very good example of such an instrument. Potentiometer is a variable uh, a resistor. A variable resistor is like that we move it instantly resistance is variable ke pe move ho ke hume nazar aati. Aur jitni kam hum potentiometer move karte hain utni resistance kam hoti hai aisa nahi hota ki hum variation ya jo potentiometer ki movement zyada ghumaye aur resistance kam aaye aur iska vice versa kare to jitna hum resistance ke knob of variable ko move karte hain utni resistance hamari vary bhi hoti hai so this concept 
uh, is a good example of such an instrument where the output voltage changes instantly, instantaneously as the slider is displaced along the potentiometer track. So this is uh, the uh, show representation of that uh, zero order system or instrument. Now coming towards the first order instrument. Further, on first order system, any instrument that behaves according to the following equation is known as the first order system instrument. Um, what is the reason? The If we connect R and C with either, each other, then the concept can be happened instantly in this way. 